Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. As the season is changing from summer to autumn, the days here are getting slightly cooler and so I thought I'd share what I eat in a day because it slightly changes at this time. First thing in the morning there's always something boiling in the background, either chickpeas, lentils or beans, but wherever we're eating later on that day. And at this time, I make sure I'm getting loads of porridge, or as you call it in America, oatmeal. And oatmeal is really high in fiber. And it's said that we're actually not getting enough fiber in our diet. So I always try and make note at this time just to make sure I'm getting enough fiber in my diet. And things like oatmeal is a great thing to have first thing in the morning. And of course, there's different fruits that are in season where you live. So at the moment here, there's berries and apples. And having stewed apples is really easy on the digestion and high in fiber. So it's a lovely warming start to the day. And then I'll add some warming spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. So what I'm really trying to do is warm my body from the inside out. And for extra nutrition, I will add some granola, which is nuts and seeds. And then the milk I'm using at the moment is some sunflower milk. So I'll have my breakfast in the morning at around half eight to nine. And any leftover porridge, you just pop into the fridge and you can keep it for the next day. It can be like overnight oats. And I've shared before, we eat the main meal at around between 12 and one in the day. And we've got loads of root vegetables in the garden. So I'm taking full advantage of that at the moment and cooking up a nice bean curry. And any recipes that I share today, I'll leave down below. I mostly eat a whole food plant-based diet. So I'm always looking to just make sure I'm getting all the different nourishment I need. And at this time, a lot of root vegetables are in season. So I'm quite a lazy cook. I like to make dishes that are easy to prep and are all in the one bowl. And a really great way of getting greens into you is just freezing them all and then just crumbling into the dish at the very end. And I'll eat this with some whole grain brown rice. And again, it's just another way of upping the fiber content. So at around between three and four, I'll have a snack. And again, I'm having more warming drinks. I love some kind of turmeric latte. And then I'll always have something like a date ball on hand. Just for that mid afternoon when you really want a nice little treat. And then coming on to tea time, which is between six and seven. Don't eat as much at that time as we do at midday. Another great way of getting greens into you is having pesto. And this is made with the tops of carrots and with sorrel. That's a great way of using up the carrot tops. 
And then I'm going to make a very simple soup. Lentils and spices and vegetables. And I love using mung dal because mung lentils are easy to digest. They also don't need to be soaked and they also take much quicker time to cook. And a great way of getting veggies in without having to wait for them to cook is by grating them into the meal. And so I grated in some carrots and courgettes. And you know you hear experts say, make sure you're eating the rainbow. So that's what I'm always trying to do. At the moment, there is beetroot in season. We got this from our neighbor. And just grating it up and sprinkling it on top of some bread is another great way of just getting more nutrition into your diet. So you want it varied and colorful. And at this time of year, I make sure it's warming and wholesome. So my main focus at this time is just really getting loads of fiber into my diet. And keeping things simple and nutritious. And all that's left to do is to get rid of all the scraps for compost and just settle down in the evening after I've eaten. So I'd love to know whether you change your diet around this time. It can be a bit of a transition for our body and mind from the summer to the autumn. And there's so much abundance of fruit and vegetables. It's just wonderful to take the opportunity to incorporate them all into your diet. And of course, it's different depending on where you live. So let me know down below as always, let's chat or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful week. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it and I will see you in the next one.